Hey guys and welcome to TrickMinot.ai. So today we are reviewing Stealth GPT.ai and this tool is going to be measured against the ones that we have already tested, which is the three ChatGPTs GPTs and one Cognitive Bypass. And so far Cognitive Bypass is a leader, although none of the tools were able to pass originality 3.0. So today we're going to be looking at Stealth GPT, as I said, and let's take a look at the pricing real quick. So you have three tiers, Essential, Pro and Exclusive. As far as I can tell, straight out they differ based on the word limits. And you get two models, you get Standard Model, which is capable of bypassing the likes of GPT-0 originality and then the Samurai features or Samurai mode or model which can bypass Winston, Copilix and hopefully, hopefully originality 3.0. I don't really know what the business uh, tier is. I don't have access to that. Apparently there are some specialized models and full access to other business tools. But today we'll be looking at uh, standard options within Stealth GPT. And not as in standard engine, but as in Samurai engine. Because from what I've read and heard, Samurai engine gives you a longer output, better readability. If you can and when you can, just use Samurai. And since Bypass uh, Stealth GPT gives you some additional options like Stealth mode, going from low to medium to high, we'll be testing Samurai engine together with the three Stealth modes. So low is low undetectability but high coherency and readability. Medium is lower coherency and better undetectability and high is the best undetectability and the worst readability so we'll test all three starting with the low and also Stealth GPT has its own AI checker and uh, we'll see if we can use this AI checker as a valid proxy for Torrentine for example which is not readily accessible to other people so first things first we're gonna grab the same chat GPT generated essay as in the previous videos I'll go Samurai low stealth mode and right in tone I'll stick to standard let's just paste this in and you can upload or drag and drop your files which is handy let's click generate and my plan includes a 2000 word input limit which is uh, quite useful okay first what we do we go to grammarly in here we're gonna look at the correctness score and straight up we can see that the amount of suggestions is 27 which i think is the highest so far and the original was only two so out of all the tested tools even on the low mode this means that uh, there are some intentional grammar mistakes like this one here this one is a misspelling so it's this one and so far it's nothing like ridiculous but you can see that even the readability score is quite low so the readability is 39 and i would like the readability to be above 40 but we are checking readability with hemingway so this is grade 15 and 27 suggestions as far as grammar so first let's go to originality 2.0 scan now 84% original, okay, what about 3.0? 5% original, okay, let's note this down. So Winston says this is 100% human. And for Torrentine, this is 0% AI. Okay, let's check the inbuilt Stealth GPTs checker. And unfortunately, I can only check 750 words at a time. So we need to trim this. Purely human, unique flair, 0%. So Stealth GBD's AI checker says this is 0%. Okay, so so far, at least this corresponds to Torrentine. Not to originality 3.0, but... So let's go to medium mode. So all we have to do is go back, switch to medium, and click on generate. Let's go to Grammarly. So the previous score was 27. And weirdly enough, this is only 11, which is an improvement over the previous engine or over the previous mode Let's see Hemingway still the same grade 15 unfortunately okay originality 2.0 79 we're about 3.0 46 so this is uh, quite high for 3.0 how about Winston so Winston says once again this is 100% original but look at the readability score so not good it looks like Stealth GPT has passed Torrentine once again with a perfect zero score. Let's test the AI checker. So 0%. At least looks like you can use this as a proxy for Torrentine. Now it's time to test the highest mode, which apparently gives you the highest undetectability. And I'm very curious to see if this will be actually the one that beats originality 3.0. So let me go back to the bypass tool and switch to high, save, and then generate. Review suggestions. 
43. Oh my god. So this does mess up grammar big time. How about Hemingway? Grade 12. So somehow it improves readability. But the amount of uh, grammar slash spelling mistakes is ridiculous. Okay, let's see how this performs against originality. 100% original. What about 3.0? Is this gonna be the tool that beats 3.0 decisively? 63. So this is pretty high. This is probably the highest I've seen. Wow. Now I would assume this passes Winston without a problem. Okay, 100% original. And it's pretty safe to say that Torrentian is gonna be zero once again. So Torrentian is 0% once again. And let me check the inbuilt stealth GPT's AI detector. Okay, 5%. Interesting. But we had to cut down on the word count quite severely, it still looks like this could be a good predictor for Torrentian. Now there is one feature that I haven't touched upon, this is the generate or essay feature. I think they work in a similar fashion, so let's just try the generate feature. Uh, let's use the low settings, presumably with better readability. And let's try the same prompt that we did for our original ChatGPT generated essay. Okay, so we got back our essay. Let's check Grammarly. Only six suggestions, so this is very close to the original essay, but uh, the word count is extremely low, so this is only 300 words, unfortunately, but we will still note this down. So six revisions or suggestions. Let's look at Hemingway. Unfortunately, it's still very high readability and not in a good way. And I'm more interested in uh, check torrenting, but still I'll check everything else. So we are consistent. So originality 2.0 says this is 100% original, surprisingly. This is 0% original, but everything is in the green. So let me recheck. This is weird. Yeah, this is some kind of bug or whatever. So originality says everything is in the green. But then it says 100% AI. So I'm getting this weird thing. So let me go back to standards. So I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a bug. I will just put an A. So 100% human here and A here because I don't know what it is. Honestly, let's go to Winston. So Winston is 97% human. Maybe this is because of the low word count. Okay, this is 0% uh, once again. Okay, this is it. So to sum up. Uh, Stealth GPT has so far the highest scores for Originality 3.0, Originality 2.0. Uh, it's as good with torrenting as the other models. However, the amount of spelling and grammar mistakes sometimes can be overwhelming. The good news is that the inbuilt Stealth GPT AI checker can be used as a proxy for Winston and torrenting. And also, if you want to generate a high readability, low mistake essays or articles for the single purpose of passing torrenting, Winston and originality, you can use the inbuilt generate feature. I won't go as far as uh, evaluate the quality of the output, you can do it yourselves. Hope this video was helpful, go check out trickminot.ai for additional tips and tricks and tools, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!